Hello City Skylines fans, I'm Soxway Up, and welcome back to Chillhorn Season 2. Honestly, I've lost track of what episode number it is. I also lost some save files, apparently. Last episode we did a forest industry, and I had to recreate it. I didn't finish recreating it, because I was, to be honest with you, a little pissed off. I transferred computers recently, and I uh, overrode the save file. So, a lot of the city might look a little different, but I did a lot off camera. Basically, we did the push towards 48,000 uh, citizens and didn't really make an episode of that because it wasn't super interesting. I'm just flying around the city right now, a little out of sorts, but this is the expansion. This is one of the main areas that we did off camera, so I thought we'd show that to start this episode. And it was really a push to, to get a tile unlocked. We also did this area here. We took the railroad tracks, we put them underground. They go from over here down to here to come back up for cargo, different cargo stations. And then some residential areas mixed in, but we really wanted to unlock this ore industry here so that we could finish our warehouse district or our factory district that we're kind of thinking about creating here. We'll have to do some reorganizing then, but that'll give us all four industries and that's gonna be the main focus of this episode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish out building this highway at least where we're gonna think it's gonna go for now and then we're gonna pick up on making our ore industry all right so what i've done so far i thought i'd give a little update is i created like a freeway loop here kind of kind of sort of bit kind of sort of bit does that even make any sense but yeah so it comes out here i got i want to fix these bridges but they only work in vanilla when it's a straight road when you start doing the bend they do not create them as bridges so we got pretty decent ones here. Could probably try to realign them up. Might do that a little bit later on. These ones lined up pretty good. Got that connecting. Then we have this exit here that I might improve. Kind of wanted to take a look. We didn't do that. We used to have that there, the original city, but it was a different, different interchange. But that's going to work for now. I wanted just to get the traffic flowing. Now we're going to head on over here and we're going to start zoning. One last industry we're gonna get going with some road design here we're gonna go into the medium-sized roads and we don't have a one-way I thought we had a one-way industry road that was medium but we don't so we'll go with the smaller one and we're gonna just cut it like so and kind of as much as we can mimic the terrain or the the outline of the resource is what I was looking for. The natural resource here. So let's uh, let's go to the freeform tool. Go ahead and snag up a route right like that. Come around here. Um, I don't know if I want to commit to that yet. Let's just back this out. We're gonna do this a little different. Uh, we do want to come off on two different directions. I want to create a one-way road both directions um like so let's go with a straight road how far was this this one cost us 360 we'll just start mimicking that we'll upgrade that so it comes back in so you can kind of see the idea that we're going with and then next what we're going to do is start figuring out what we're going to do with our industry here so naturally, because of the way the industries work, we're gonna grab, there's an asymmetrical road. Oh my goodness, okay, distractions. We're gonna grab this road, we're gonna place it down here just so that we can go into our ore tab here, grab our ore main building and unlock that. So what that's gonna do is gonna unlock our small ore mine, our sand storage and our ore grinding mill, which we'll want to lay down next. Um, looks like we missed a little spot over here get that we're gonna do some terraforming hopefully the game will allow us to do that we are going to so we want to shift the terrain a little bit right here we're gonna right click just lower this down to about right there then we're gonna go with the leveling tool make sure yep the level tool we're gonna right click where we created Make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to try and that's not really working the way we want to. Let's go smaller. We're going to kind of mimic what I've done in Lake Soxide where we're going to create this quarry effect. 
and get this all landscaped up. And I'm going to play around with the terraforming tools and get back to you in a little bit and show you what we've come up with. So a little bit of the same as we've done with the other industries. We're just getting it going, but we did build this down a little bit. Probably could have gone lower. Doesn't look as nice in snowfall as it does in vanilla or non-snowfall. But you can see we got three of the small ore mines going. And then also we have four of the grinding mills. So they're starting to populate there. They are also have enough workers to level up to level two, which is our first goal here. We just got to get enough resources processed. And then we'll get there. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, get to level two, and then we'll rinse and repeat and upgrade. Well, we hit level two. We have the worker barracks. We have the steel plants, the manufacturing, the glass manufacturing plant, the ore storage and small ore underground mine, which is what I was looking for. You can see I laid down a few more of these just to speed up the process and get more workers. We are close to enough workers for the next level. So let's go ahead and jump in here. We're going to go grab the work barracks to begin with. We're going to place it right next to the main building and like so. And then we're going to put one on each side. And I think that looks pretty nice. Then we're going to get the electricity back up because that kicked us out. And that alone should probably, yeah, probably does. It gets us enough workers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other buildings, though. We go to our little green cog here for extractor buildings. We also have this underground mine, which is what we're going to want to use around the top of the quarry. At least that's the way I like to do it here. Place a few of those down and then eventually we'll get the big building in the middle here. I don't remember what it's called. We'll have to wait. Does it let us see what it's called? The large ore mine. We'll get that going in the middle and maybe one of these medium ones as well once we unlock that all the way at level five. The medium one at level three so we'll get that soon. We got to get it up to 1500 produced resources to move up to the next level. Starting to make a little bit of a profit here. That'll keep going up as we go and get more and more buildings. Let's look at one more thing. We had some a new extractor building, which was the glass manufacturing plant. So I do want to place a couple of those down as well. Just want to make sure we get enough resources out. We're making 78 tons. 16 tons here that should be fine we should be good we're gonna get those populated let this roll plenty of workers you might even have enough for the next level i think it's 500 to get to level four we'll see when we get there all right we are back we have the electronics factory seabed mining vessel which we will not be using and the medium ore mine so let's go ahead and let's demolish this one let's see if that medium one will fit here and back to extractor buildings grab our medium one it will not oh no maybe there's one here let's try this let's pause it we broke the electricity let's pause it for a second we might have made this too small we made it too small that's all right we're just building this for the functionality anyways let's get that back up electricity should be fine get that going let's see what else we got here let's go to our yellow tab here We'll get this one thrown down as well. It's large. It fills in the space. And then back to the this right now. It's hanging around a thousand. We do have enough workers. It was 550, but we're up to 650 now. We just need 4,500 and we'll get to level four and we'll show you what we're going to do next. Getting closer to redesigning this for our final layout. All right, level four. We got the car factory. We have the ore industry maintenance building. We have the fiberglass plant or industry storage and we also have the large mining underground so I've started decorating this a little bit and the other factory we we're trying to think about was the electronics factory which we got that up and running now we have the steel factory there and then the electronics factory making that money 6,000 there 6,400 here 6,700 making a lot so the income is jumping up it should be jumping up a lot higher yeah 36 40,000 a week it's fluctuating a little bit, but we're also decorating this with some rocks around here. Just kind of a cool look, I think, to kind of hide the terrain flaws that these buildings add. And we kind of make it look like this is the ore we're extracting. At least that's the way it works in my head. So we're going to finish doing that, and then we'll take a quick look at our new buildings and see where we can fit them if we do need them. Let's look at what we need for jobs to get to level 5. We need about 40 more jobs, which we should be able to do, and a whole lot of production. So looking at this, I think we're extracting enough. We got 116 tons coming out, 88 are output. 
so we're just going to go ahead and look at our yellow buildings now. Got the big fiberglass plant, which I'm going to put one right here. We're going to also put one here and there. And then also another one of these plants. We can put it there and start getting those populated. And then I'll start looking at a long-term layout for this. But we're going to get those going, get plenty of workers in here. I want these numbers here, this 22 tons and 9 tons, to get higher because we're going to want to use all these resources in our city. And you can see the numbers, 96 tons of output is only 2,800, but for metals it's 45, 23 tons is 5,000, which is way more. And then we're only getting 3 tons right now of glass. We want to get that up so we can get that profit up even more. And we will do that once we get these fiberglass plants up and running and being profitable as well. Profit's going to go up big time here. We're going to do that with all of them as we go back and add the factories and make sure we have enough of these resources for all the factories we're going to place down in the next episode. But for now, we're going to get this up to level five. We're going to do some redesign while we wait and then show you the final product in a little bit. All right, we did it. No time at all. We got the raw mineral storage we're not going to use. We got the large ore mining, which mine, which we're going to try to use that. We have the shipyard as well. We're going to take a peek at that one next episode. Let's take a jump in here. Go back to the ore, grab the large guy, and see if we made enough room. We didn't. We didn't make enough room. We didn't make enough room. Let's see if we can sneak it somewhere. Pause it. These out of here. I feel like there's enough room right here. This way. Oh, we've had a spot. There it is. Nice, so we can get the medium one back. Put that back where it was. You know what, we could also probably put that small one back as well. Let's sneak that here, let's try to sneak one there. That would be close to calling it final, get this bad boy up and running. We hit level five, we'll give you a little overview of what we've done here. It's pretty uniform. I don't know if we'll expand in this area, but we made this a little bit bigger between the last one just so we could fit that in there. Maybe a little detailing would be kind of nice, but I think that does good. I mean, we've we've done a lot of these industries here in this city, and that's one of the things that I wanted to do. It's coming together nice. Profit is kind of insane in this town right now. If we look at our milestones, the last thing we have is we need about, about 10,000 more people, almost 11,000 more citizens in town to call this city done man it's coming along nice so next episode we're going to go ahead and finish up and redesign this factory area that's going to be the main focus of that episode and then after that we're going to finish expanding this get to that milestone and then we're going to talk about the long-term plans of chill horn we're going to temporarily put it on a pause after we hit that milestone there is a dlc coming out that i'm sure a lot of you know about with airports we're going to save a spot for that and then just kind of finish the nine squares off as well, but probably take a break before we do that. So look forward to the next two episodes that will probably wrap up this phase of Chillhorn Season 2. But yeah, let me know what you think. Did you get any good information? Learn anything? Oh, we need... We got problems. We got lots of problems. Oh, the fire department's getting there. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, let me know what you're thinking of Chillhorn. If there's anything you'd like to see in an episode featured, let me know. Um, as always, I am Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Chillhorn.